today I'm inviting you to get ready with me. This is a brand new series and I know you're going to love it because I've had so many viewer requests for just this. Today I'm going to be styling a sweater dress for the first time ever and I'm going to let you be with me as I walk through the process of trying to figure out how to best wear this dress. It may appear to you that I just throw things on effortlessly and they just make sense and I create an outfit, but that's just not how it works. It takes a lot of trial and error. It takes thinking through a few key things that I've learned over the years and it just takes some just practice. So today I'm just gonna walk you through that process as you get ready with me. Hello, and my name is Kay, and this is Dress For My Day, where my goal every week is to inspire and help women over 50 to get dressed in a way that feels unique, that feels fashionable, that feels authentic, that feels modern, so that we can step out the door in confidence and we can continue to participate in the world around us. We can have a voice, we can show up, we can do a little good. So today, let's talk about how to put together an outfit. I get a lot of questions about, Kay, could you show us about what didn't work or why you chose to wear that? And maybe just take us through the process. So that's what we're gonna start doing. Originally, this video, I was gonna do like four outfits and shape, but then I realized, whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> it was way too much. Instead, I think what we'll do is we'll just make this a series. We'll call it Get Ready With Me. So be looking for that series. And every time I'll style something a little different. So today it's going to be a sweater dress. I love wearing sweater dresses in the winter or late fall, winter in the cooler months, but they can be a little tricky, right? Um, I'll tell you some of the things that throw me off about sweater dresses in just a minute. So especially as we are starting to get into the fall, we're moving that direction. I'm seeing a lot of sweater dresses in the store. So they're very on trend. Uh, I'll see a lot of them that are kind of thinner and ribby that have ribbing in them and I love that and I'll show you some unique attributes too that I really looked for in buying this particular one. So let me first just walk you through the process of why I purchased this particular sweater dress. One of the things about sweater dresses that sometimes throws me off is especially if they have a turtleneck or a cow neck and then it's a long sweater dress, let's say you know, it goes down to the knees or below there, that's just a lot of fabric. It's a lot of sweater, and I think it can look overwhelming. Even on a larger frame, I am five foot eight, and I wear a size medium, size eights and tens, so I'm not small, but that much fabric, that much sweater, can really be kind of overwhelming even to a larger woman. And especially, I think, if you're a petite, <laughs> wearing a sweater from, you know, from your chin down can just look a little overwhelming. So one of the things I did was I did look for a sweater dress with this Johnny collar. A Johnny collar is really in. It's just kind of like a, almost like a polo, but with no buttons, right? A little collar there, a little open V-neck. And I think that just gives you a little bit, you know, it's a little brighter, a little easier on the eyes. Also, remember every time you're putting together an outfit, one of the keys really to putting together an outfit is great proportions. And when we talk proportions, a lot of women get stuck on the one thirds, two thirds thing. And that's definitely important. It's generally nice for your outfit to be composed of one third up top and two thirds down below, or vice versa if you're wearing like a longer tunic you know type top or a jacket or something and then you want something uh, shorter down below but when you're wearing a dress well obviously that kind of goes out the window right mm, not completely because there are other kinds of proportions another type of proportion is that let's say for instance you are wearing a skirt and a top or you're wearing jeans and a top you want there to be a equal uh, a nice proportion of fullness and slim fit so you would want perhaps your jeans to be slim fitting and your top to be fuller. Or maybe you'd wear a more slim fit top and fuller, wider leg jeans. Or you could do that same kind of proportions with your, um, your skirt and your pants, or your skirt and your top. But that's still a dress, you don't have that, right? So you don't have that fullness. Okay, so Kay, what are you talking about then? What kind of proportions would we be talking about with a dress. Well, there's one more type of proportion that is really important to take into thought, and that is how much skin you show. Yes. <laughs> so the rule is that you don't wanna to show too much skin all over. So for instance, if you are really bearing your legs, you're wearing some short shorts or a mini skirt, 
then you really want to cover up more up top. Maybe wear something a little bit higher neck, maybe wear long sleeves, you know, something like that. If you are going low at the top, you're showing some cleavage at the top, or maybe you're wearing spaghetti straps or strapless, then you want to wear more fabric down below. You want to cover your legs or maybe wear a longer skirt or wear pants or something like that. So in other words, you don't want to just show skin all over your body, right? Because that's a little, ew, that's not too nice. So you don't want to do that. It just does, it's not really visually appealing. On the other hand, you don't want to cover up too much either. Did you know that your clothes actually send a message about you, right? So when you show a lot of skin, what does that say? <laughs> That's, that kind of says that you're propositioning, right? You're, you're kind of like out there, hey, I'm available. Well, not showing any skin or covering up too much also does just the opposite. It actually kind of makes you look closed off. It makes you look not accessible. It makes you look not approachable. We want to look approachable, especially if you have a job, like you're a teacher. You want your fifth grade students to be able to approach you at your desk. If you're a, a doctor, you want to look a little approachable, accessible, so that your patients can ask you questions. If you are a business person, you want to look approachable so that your colleague feels like they can come and ask you a question or ask you to collaborate. So we want to look approachable. And one of the things that I've noticed when I'm putting together outfits is if I am just covered up from chin to toe, and especially in the winter, we tend to do that, right? It can make me look put off. It can make me look detached. It can make me look just too covered up. So bring that all the way back around to this sweater dress. That is one of the reasons why I chose this particular dress with that V-neck because I think it opens up a little bit. It's a little brighter, a little more accessible, a little bit more approachable than that cow neck or turtleneck dress. All right, so let's move on. The next thing I needed to do though, once I tried this dress on is I realized, oh my goodness, I need some undergarments <laughs> that are gonna take away some of these lumps, bumps, and bulges. That's really normal, ladies. We all have those, especially at our age. You had a baby or two, or even if you didn't, you're gonna, you're gonna have some lumps, bumps, and bulges. And so we, fortunately, we've got shapewear that can take care of that. I'm wearing some Spanx here. I will link you to the pair that I'm wearing because I don't know what they are because the tag is cut out, right? So I don't know what they are, but I will figure it out and I will link you to them below. These actually just kind of go from a high waist and down onto the thigh a little bit. So they're really nice for making me nice and smooth there. Sure, I still got some hips. I sure it still got a little bit of a tummy. That's okay, those are my curves and I'm okay with them. And I think you need to be too, but we can get rid of the ridges and the bumps and the bulges like that with some good shapewear. So I did that next. The next thing I need to do is go ahead and figure out my shoes. Now, when I'm figuring out which shoes to wear, there's several things that I take into consideration. Yes, nude shoes are your color of nude, the color of your legs is absolutely going to elongate. So that's always a good option. I think it's so smart to have some nude, your nude color of shoes in your closet, lots of them. I like to have some flats in that color. I like to have some boots. I like to have some heels. I like to have all sorts of shoes in my flesh tone because that's always going to work. So really, I can't go wrong with those. They're not gonna be bad. But the next thing I have to do is kind of think about what is the vibe I'm kind of trying to create? Am I going really dressy? Am I dressing up to go to church here? Am I dressing to go out to dinner with my husband? Maybe a fun little date night. We're going somewhere fun. Maybe we're going to get to eat outside on the patio type thing or maybe I'm going to lunch with a friend maybe I'm going to uh, work maybe I'm just going out for a fun day so that really that tone is really going to help me decide what shoes to wear so here are a few options I have these little flats these little ballet flats by Vince they are a suede they are exquisite they are lovely but they have a squared off toe which is very on trend but with this dress, eh, I just didn't really think that was the right way to go. Another option I tried is a little sling back here, the little flesh tone, once again, my flesh tone. I think they work okay. So like if I was wearing this to the office or something, maybe I was gonna be on my feet all day. I think these little pointy toe flats work nicely. They are my flesh tone, so they elongate my leg really nicely. At least they, there's that uninterrupted line there. That pointy toe is so on trend. Slingbacks are really on trend. So they work, they work okay. 
uh, but that's not really the vibe I was going for here. So the next thing I tried was my pointy toe pumps. Once again, in my flesh tone, they're okay, but they just don't add anything. And I feel like this is just looking kind of boring so far. So I wanted to add something with a little bit more personality. Here's another fun option, and that is a pair of brown suede block heel pumps. The block heel is a tortoise shell and the shoe itself is suede. These are great pumps, love them. And so they're a really nice option. They're a little pricey. I'll link you below and I'll give you a coupon code for them too. But you know, something like this, I'm just pulling things from my closet, just going through the process here. At first I didn't think these two browns matched and that therefore they wouldn't work. But then when I kind of looked at them here, I think they kind of do match. So I think this would be a viable option if you wanted to do this, if you kind of wanted to match your shoes and your dress, you certainly could. I think this is something I would wear. I just didn't choose to wear it this day because it still is not the vibe I'm going for. So the next thing I decided to do, because I really decided I'm kind of putting together like a date night, a really fun outfit, I decided to try my short booties. Just my little suede booties, once again, that soft taupe, you know, skin colored booty. Love these little booties. I picked them up in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm hoping they're still available because I love them. I think they come in brown too, or at least they did. Anyhow, this color of suede really matches my skin tone so nicely. I love a short booty with a dress like this. And the fact that it's suede and we're dealing with a sweater, I just think that kind of works nicely. I think that's another thing. Let's just pause right here and think, I think fabrics need to work together. So the fabric of your shoe and the fabric of your dress or your blouse or your pant need to kind of like make sense together. And so to me, a sweater and suede makes sense together. And not just because they both go sw, because <laughs> they just, they just are kind of nice fallish, wintry kind of fabrics. And I think that's maybe why those pumps, the uh, just the patent leather or the leather pumps didn't do it. They just didn't really add anything. There's no texture there. I like adding some texture to an outfit. It's just nice. Especially when we have the same texture, you know, like I said, shoulder to below the knee, one texture. I think it's nice to add a little different texture in. So this suede just really works. I think these booties are so fun. Next thing I needed to do is just style this. Let's go back to those proportions just a moment. Anytime I'm wearing long sleeves, I have to kind of think about this because that's another way really that I can bear a little skin. So if I'm wearing a long dress like this, all this sweater, and yes, it's open at the V-neck, so that's really nice. But another thing I can do is just scrunch up my sleeves a little bit. Anytime that you bear a little bit of your forearms, a little bit of your wrist, that is another way to give yourself those good proportions of coverage versus you know showing a little skin. So here I've done that. I just scrunched up the sleeves a little bit at the top first, scrunch them up at the top, and then push them up from the cuff to the elbow, and that way they're gonna stay put. And so at this point, I decided to go ahead and add some jewelry. At first, I tried my chunky chain necklace that I have on today. I love a chunky chain necklace all the time. I just think it's wonderful. But I did not really like the way it worked here. I just felt like it drew too much attention right there to my neck. And I wanted to kind of spread the joy a little bit. So I decided instead to go with a daintier necklace. This is a little Julie Voss palm leaf, I think it is, gold necklace here. And that way I could wear my chunky chain bracelet, which kind of put a little jewelry down. Remember we've, we've exposed my wrist, exposed my forearms a little bit there. So now I've added that chunky chain bracelet there. I've added some just little stud earrings that work really nicely with all this. All that jewelry is Julie Voss, by the way. So I really like that. Just has a nice balanced look. I got a little glimmer everywhere. Uh, another shoe I can try is, of course, my full length boot. My, this boot goes almost up over my knee. It's a slouchy boot. It's a suede, same colored suede boot. Works really nice. So when I get into the winter, that's gonna work, but I'm gonna be a really nice option. The next thing I did was I decided to add a jacket and a blazer just didn't seem right. Trench coat seemed not, not right. You know, you just think through the things you have in your closet and most everything just didn't seem right for this sweater dress, but what always seems right, just like almost all the time to me, 
is a denim jacket. Now I have two denim jackets right now. They're both Levi's original denim trucker jackets. Uh, they're just a light, except one of them is kind of a mid to darker wash. The other one is a light wash, lighter wash, not real light, but lighter wash. So here's another thing I'm always thinking about when I put my outfits together, and that is contrast in intensity. Because I have low contrast and in intensity in my features, which simply means my hair is light intensity, my skin is light intensity, my eyes are light green, so they're light intensity. So I have basically no contrast between those three things. They're all light intensity, so there's no contrast between anything in my features. So I kind of like to keep the contrast and in intensity light in my outfits, low, low in my outfits too. So yes, this is a dark brown sweater dress, but to keep the contrast and in intensity low in that outfit, I'm going to need to wear a darker jacket. So that's why I'm choosing the darker denim jacket here instead of the lighter jacket. I think it just works better for me. I feel more comfortable in it. Maybe you don't notice a difference, but to me, it just feels more like what I should be wearing and I feel like I show up better in it. So I would definitely go with my darker denim jacket here. Now, another fun thing though, so I've got a really great outfit going here. I love it, but you know what? Honestly, I'm thinking now, I'm thinking that now that I got the denim jacket on, I'm thinking this is just a great outfit to just wear to go have fun and you know the shoe of choice for me there. <laughs> When I was in London recently, I saw hundreds, literally, I'm not kidding you, hundreds of women wearing all kinds of dresses with sneakers, either just, yes, like white little leather sneakers or running type sneakers, field sneakers, all kinds of sneakers looking like they were out and about, they were doing some shopping, they were doing some touring, they were at a museum, they were touring something, they were going shopping, they were at the market. So I've decided to ditch the boots now. That's great for a date night, but for just a day out, even if I'm going to lunch with some friends and then I'm gonna go to the market afterwards, whatever, I'm gonna wear my On Cloud sneakers. I love these on cloud sneakers. They are so comfortable. I like that they're chunky, kind of retro looking, but the coloring, it works really nice for me. Once again, it's that beige coloring, so it works really nice with my skin. Throw on that denim jacket, grab my market bag, and I am set. And that's kind of how my brain works. That's how I put this together. You know what, you might would do it differently. I, I know some people might would say belt the, belt the dress, but honestly, belting a dress like this does not work for me, uh, just for me. It, it might for you. Belting a dress is very on trend and you certainly could try belting this particular dress. It just really wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm not really, that's not my thing. So, you know, you're gonna make some personal decisions too, but I just wanted to walk you through my process of putting together this sweater dress outfit. I hope this was helpful to you and I hope it was fun. Uh, let me know in the comments. You're definitely gonna have to let me know in the comments if you like this format and what kinds of things you would like to see me style in the future. Right now, I've been thinking about styling some wide leg jeans, um, maybe it would, you know, with a top or two or whatever, a jacket, whatever, or I could also, of course, style some more straight leg jeans. Hey, you just let me know. What are some things that you would like to Get ready with me while I style a particular type of item. Now, it may not be the specific one you have, but a type of item. Let me know that in the comments below because I would love to serve you in this way. Let me know too that you enjoyed this by giving me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that so that you can get a notification each time I upload videos, which is usually every Wednesday when I show up here to encourage women over 50. I really appreciate you being here today, ladies, and I'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye now.